On today's episode of American Truck Simulator, join me as we take this FLB and seed trailer and haul some seed from Raton to Alamogordo, New Mexico. Let's go ahead, roll that intro, and jump right into it. All right, haulers. Hello and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It has been a long while since we've been on the road. It's been a long while since I've even been on my channel. So sorry about that, guys. I just needed a little bit of time to kind of catch up on just breathing, honestly. If you don't already know and you didn't see the channel update, which won't be up when this video goes up. Also, it is thundering, so fair warning. But uh, if you didn't see that, Pretty much just needed a break, had a lot of issues with some just just a bunch of things going wrong all at the same time and just needed to catch my breath for a little bit, especially moving to a new area. So that is all done, got some time, had a chance to do some stuff. And on top of that, so I was away for about a month, but yeah, that stuff is all done. We're past that. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start the truck up and we're going to get on the road here. We're driving the Freightliner FLB today again. I missed this truck a lot, so I really wanted to jump into it. We actually have to head down to New Mexico to go pick up a load of uh, grain. Jeez, that we're going to be taking through New Mexico. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out of... Uh, we're in Colorado right now. Get this thing started up. If you haven't seen it also, I have a new wheel. I am now all Thrustmaster, new wheel, new shifter, new pedals, all that. So there is going to be some learning going on today as I get used to how everything goes. Not to mention I'm driving a 12-speed, which... I don't usually do, so, uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I can adjust the wheel, but the wheel's in the wrong position. Let me adjust that real quick. Alright, there we go. That's much better. I'm a little bit off to the side, but that is okay. We'll go ahead, take a parking brake off, get this thing on the road. I don't know how this will drive, so... Well, it ain't gonna drive doing that. <laughs> off to a great start. Really? Have I lost it? There we go. Why is my engine brake on? Oh, it's all it's all going absolutely swell. <laughs> I'm going to have to completely relearn how to drive. The problem is is that it's using all the settings for my old wheel. I have gone through and obviously updated some of mine, but for the sake of being able to get a video out to you guys, oh, I got to remember that this also has more slots on it for shifting. Um, but I haven't actually sat down and, like, properly gone over everything. It is also pouring. We are... I don't remember where we are. We're going to Alamogordo, I believe, is where we're going. I don't remember where we're at right now. We're in Colorado. We're at the bottom of Colorado. One of my favorite little garages. I did it again. Yeah, this is tough. Definitely learning again how to, uh... I mean, I pretty much have to learn how to drive all over again. It's also been a long time since we've done a night drive. And, uh, if you guys want to see what the outside of the truck looks like, don't worry. As the video goes on, I'm gonna hopefully be able to show some outside views. We'll see what happens. At the very least, I'll, uh, try and throw in some pictures if I can't end up doing that. There's some stuff I want to try out for this video. But there we go. It got her all decked out in red. Normally, I never drive anything in red, but I really do like it. Uh, but I wanted to mention, too, uh, that I got out a massive project yesterday. I finished a, a many weeks. It's actually months-long project. Uh, if you guys didn't already know, one of the things that I do is, obviously, I like my Let's Plays, so I do this channel. I like funny moments type of content, so I have a funny moments channel. On top of that, I also, like, my bread and butter is creating cinematics or, like, short films inside video games. 
which is why my intros for this channel are all little cinematics, because that is me, that represents who I am. And uh, I was able to finish up a massive project that I did with someone else, uh, with a... There's a, a league, Outcast uh, iRacing League. I actually raced with them for a little, but I was really not good, so I pulled myself out of it. But uh, the leader of that, Cold Boar, and the guys there are all people that I know really well and uh, hang out with often. Told Cold Boar I would like to make a video for him, which was pretty much me saying, hey, you know, would you give me footage that I could use to make a cinematic? Because I didn't have any footage and I really wanted to make this, so it was a trade off. You give me the footage, I'll give you a video, kind of a thing. And uh, we finally got that done, and the uh, the reviews so far have been awesome. I was definitely nervous about it. It's definitely the biggest project I've ever done, but I'm excited to uh, to have that up. So definitely go check that out. I will. Uh, well, I, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll throw it up in the suggested in the top right on the video, the little cards. I don't know if I can do that. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I've actually been making anything on here. So I gotta get back in the groove. Especially with my driving, especially with everything. But yeah, uh, so also the story with the new wheel. So now I've got the uh, the Thrustmaster T300 RS uh, GT edition and the uh, TH8A shifter, plus I have the open wheel. And the reason I have this is because we had six hours of Le Mans race for the endurance team. I am back racing for them again. And uh, ended up having my wheel kind of crap its pants like right before so I just said screw it ordered the new wheel this wheel will give me hopefully a long while uh, my other one was used I, I before I had the Logitech uh, G920 which is the Xbox wheel and uh, I bought it used from a sim racer and someone who also did sims like this so it already had kind of been put through its paces which is great and all, but, you know, it, it would definitely, it had a very heavily used life. So, by the time it decided to quit the, quit doing what it needed to do, it was about time I just got a new one. But, I mean, that wheel lasted me, you know, three, four years or more. I try to make things that I have last as long as I possibly can, especially, like, for the financial side of things, because, I mean, this one was, you know, expensive. Oh. The other thing with this wheel and the pedals too is the pedals, the brake pedal on these is actually soft. So I'm not used to it at all. I'm gonna try and make sure I don't miss the corner here. Oh, horrible downshift. Alright, let's get going on the highway here. That was very slow. Horrible shift. The wheel is completely different to what I'm used to. It's the same size almost, almost the exact same size, but I haven't quite got my steering settings all dialed in, so I'll have to spend some time on here doing that at some point. There we go, now we're getting it. Let's see if we can jump her up into 12th here. God, I love this engine too, the Cummins N14, such a good sounding engine. But yeah, so now I'm all Thrustmaster with my peripherals, so that's kind of cool. Uh, before it was pretty much all Xbox uh, and Logitech. I had the uh, Logitech, uh, oh, what's it called? The 3D Pro joystick, obviously Xbox One controller and a uh, G, uh, the G920 wheel. But now I'm all Thrustmaster, so I've got the dual joysticks from them. I've got a throttle body for flying from them. And I've got the pedals, wheel, and shifter from them. And uh, I will say this, the, the wheel was definitely a, a nice upgrade. It feels really good. It was really nice to race with. It definitely took some adjusting, especially the pedals and the shifter. The shifter has eight slots in it, whereas the... Logitech one only has the six, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. But I hope everyone else is doing well. I definitely appreciate y'all sticking with me while I took a little bit of a break. I appreciate all the support. Came back and seen all the, the comments and stuff. 
definitely, definitely appreciate it. And uh, I, I definitely thank you guys for that. Uh, especially thank you to my, my Patreons as well. Or pa patrons, not Patreons. Oh, I guess we gotta stop. Nice turn signal, genius. Alright, let's try and stop. Braking sensitivity on this one is so much harder now because it's like halfway down is where the uh, brakes used to be on the old one. And I haven't actually adjusted them yet. Can I... Can I... Can I... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm in it. <clears throat> wow. There it is. First voice crack in a while. I don't know if any of you can tell why I'm an idiot. Let's see here. I, uh, I may or may not have not needed to go through those scales. I, I got the green. I'm just stupid and didn't think about it. So, GG's. Let's get back on the highway here. Oh, let's not get back on the highway. Woo! Let's die getting on the highway. My bad, bro. Alright. Raton. And we're picking up our seed here. This video probably will contain a time lapse just because of the uh, the length of the trip. If you guys want to see longer drives, I can always throw those in. But those do seem to drag on a little bit. So, I don't know whether that's something I actually want to do. Oh, I stopped way too early. There we go. Now we're getting it. Backing this in is going to be so much fun. I do have the uh, the seed trailer on the back. That is why we're going to get seed. I forgot to mention that. That is an owned trailer, the bulk trailer. This was literally the only job around, so... GG's on that one, American Truck Sim. GG's. Oh, yeah, see? My braking's way too high. I'm thinking I can go all the way to the floor with the brakes, but I can't. Also, I'm not going to be able to see the light. Oh, and I killed it. That is not what I want to do here. I don't think I can duck down to see it either. No, I can't. Alright, we got the green. This is rough. Alright. We'll slow down, stop here. I don't know if I technically need to stop, because there's the detour thing, but... Oh, got my wheel all confused. And here is rail export. Where'd you need me, folks? Where'd you need me? Oh boy. Right there. That's gonna be fun. Especially with it being dark out. See if I can do this real quick. I'm gonna be quiet so I can focus, because it's been a long time since I've backed a trailer and it is dark. Oh, I can't see worth a crap. this way. I'm going to try and use the sign as my, my marker point. I don't have a window, do I? No, damn it. That barrier right there is what we want to be up against. And I do have a triple axle on the trailer, but one of them's lifted. At least it should be. 
can't actually see the back of it though. There we go, there's the back. I can't see worth the crap. I like the mirrors in this one though, compared to the Pete. We're not going to talk about that. I think I hit something. I think I tapped the, uh, whatchamacallit, barrier with the truck because I got too close. I couldn't see the green on the uh, thing. Alright, we'll go ahead, we'll get loaded up, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Alright, it is now 3.35. We are ready to go. Let's get back out here on the road and get to it. We'll make sure I don't hit nothing. Yeah, if you guys want to see the uh, the longer videos, let me know in the comments. And I will, uh, I'll see about potentially doing some. I don't like doing videos more than a half an hour in length. I like the, the little shortness. Because that's how I li like, I make videos how I like watching them. So, like, yeah. I, I mean, I make videos how I want to. Kind of the point of YouTube. At least it was, anyways, at one point. Alright, let's get out of here. Overshot a little bit. It's been a while since I've been here. I am pretty sure this is where my ATS video was with the uh, the peat. Get my wipers going again because it's kind of raining and crappy out. That's okay though. But yeah, other than that, not a lot to talk about. There's not. Uh, oh, actually, why is my camera all messed up? Hold on. All right, there we go. Fixed it. Uh, what I was trying to say is not been a lot going on in the background. I've uh, there's no wheel cam today. I, I didn't mention that at the beginning. I forgot to. I was supposed to, but I'm not doing wheel cam today because I have a mess uh, at my hands right now. Let's get out here. Didn't want to be out in the road. Oh, turned it way too early because the wheel's different. what it's like learning how to actually drive truck that just feeling of everyone watching you uh, but yeah I've been uh, going through and just hammering out a bunch of sorting trying to get rid of as much stuff that I don't need as possible uh, especially from the move I had just a lot of junk and random things that I just had no use for so gotten rid of most of those I mean I've been taking out bag after bag after bag of trash lately so it's been good. Been good getting rid of that stuff and uh, being able to clear up some room. Part of it is that this is just a very tiny room that I'm in. I totally cut that corner, so don't mind me. Uh, yeah, the room I'm in now is a very tiny room, and uh, for what it is, I actually had a lot more stuff than I thought. I mean, most of my stuff could fit in four totes, but those four totes will take up a good portion of this room, so trying to make the most of the storage, making it work been doing some Lego as well. Uh, my uh, fiance got me the Lego Space Station, the ISS. So you guys will see that now in the backgrounds of my uh, streams. I am getting back to streaming here pretty quick. Videos are obviously my uh, my first priority. Streaming second. We're under 12th here so we can cruise. There we go. But yeah, overall doing really, really good. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Everything's starting to shape up, starting to clean up. Spent last night, obviously, I got that video out yesterday, uh, the cinematic. 
But I spent the night back on the track with my buddy Eric, helping him, trying to spot for him. I'm really proud of him. He's been uh, kicking some ass at the tracks lately. Got a top five last time and then this time. Uh, I want to say he was around the tenth spot. I don't remember. Uh, it was a really, really tough race. But honestly, like, that's the thing with that crew. Like, uh, he races in the OCRP League. I, I have no affiliation personally with OCRP. Uh, but he, a lot of the people that I associate with are in OCRP. Uh, but So he races with them. And to be quite honest with you, like, just surviving a race there is, you know, pretty good. They're not known for having the smoothest races, and Miami, they raced like 70 yard laps, I think, before a caution, even with a couple of people that spun out. Like, it was really, really good. Saw some really good drivers, and really enjoyed it, and really enjoyed spotting for Eric and helping him out. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I do have a contract load on as well, that's why we were speed limited. But, uh, yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun. Definitely enjoyed helping him and uh, definitely really proud of him. Enjoying getting back to racing, especially with the new wheel. Uh, I've actually had to unlearn how to race with the other one because part of the issue with the other one was it wouldn't downshift. My left paddle on that wheel stopped working. Uh, I, I don't think it was coming off of the, the little click uh, sensor fast enough, so it was just staying constantly pressed. Uh, and I don't have a sprainer or anything to fix that, plus there was already other issues with it, so, you know, whatever. But, overall, the new one, racing with that, feels really good. I don't know what my next race is going to be. I've been, I'm going to stream the next ones. I didn't stream that one, so I could have a chance to kind of breathe and focus. Uh, but upcoming, we've got Sebring. We've got some really cool races this year. Uh, I don't know if they're doing anything with Lama. I know there's a whole issue with like a 24-hour Lama thing right now, so I'm not even going to worry about that. But 24 hours of Nurburgring is coming up in April, I do believe, and I definitely, definitely, definitely want to take that one on. So can expect that coming as well. And uh, got a lot of new cool things coming to the channel, I think. I'm, uh, I'm definitely trying to expand out and kind of do some new things. I also got approval from most of the people that I've been making the Funny Moments videos with to make some more. And, uh, so there will be more of those coming, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, my voice is dying. God, look at the sun in the mirrors. I probably look forward to it so I don't kill anybody, but... I think I should have moved over as well, because there was that truck, but there's a car coming, so I didn't want to run him off the road. But yeah, so, now we're just cruising. What I am going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to throw on the music. We're going to have a little bit of a time-lapse cruise, and I will see you guys when we get closer to our destination.
All right, and here we are coming down to our drop off. That was a heck of a drive. Definitely enjoyed it. That was one of those like really nice, just smooth, out in the middle of nowhere drives. Still having issues trying to get used to the uh, the new setup for sure, but I'm I'm getting there. We're we're doing okay for the most part. Oh good. We're at this light, so when this guy goes, we'll know we can go, right? That's how we're gonna do it. I need to get like a little mirror for the, the hood or something that I can put so that I can see the reflection of the light. That's how we gotta do it from now on. But yeah, that was fun. Love this truck. Sounds amazing. Love the engine that comes with it. And I don't I I don't think I'm using like there is the Cummins N14 mod itself. Uh, you guys probably know that because I've done a video on it uh, at least if you followed my stuff with that that engine is like my favorite that's my go-to sounds the best feels the best just like yeah that's that's my poison of choice if you will what engines do you guys prefer like what 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 do you guys put in your trucks when you go drive an American truck sim or do you have a, any preference at all do you guys like a deep throaty sound? Do you like a much lighter sound? Do you like no sound at all, like what you've got with some of the newer trucks? I say at all, you know, loosely. There's still some. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take up a couple of lanes here just to be safe. Go nice and wide, because I can't see the wall. All right, where are we dropping this thing? Right there. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to loop around this way. The thing I got to remember with this truck is it's a much shorter wheelbase than I'm used to. It's been a long time since I've driven a truck like this. Actually, maybe my third axle was down. Maybe it got put down when I got loaded. I don't know. You, you would think I should know these things, right? Yeah, that's the thing, too. Just like... I, I had a hatred that I talked about for these kinds of trucks, but now I've just got like a love for them. There's just something about cab overs that just, it's just nice, dude. They're just nice trucks to drive. I can't see where I'm going whatsoever. I don't even know if I'm on track. Uh... Let me try doing one of these here. That way I can get another reference point out this mirror, so I can see what I'm doing. Too much. I can't see the cones in the back, and now I'm gonna overshoot. I'm gonna be way off to one side, so I'm gonna have to adjust. I'm also talking instead of just focusing, which is half of the problem. Yeah, I did. I, I'm off to one side like I was talking about. I wonder if they'll still take it. I mean, this is a bulk trailer. It's not like they're going to unload it. Well, yep, they are. We got the green. Let's go. All right. Well, that is going to be it for today. We're going to go ahead and get unloaded. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate you guys riding with me today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do consider leaving a like and or subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next trip. Peace.